Oh, this is the body guy. language. The six traits of a high status walk for man and woman. What? Okay, I'm I'm tapped in. I'm so invested in this. Are you kidding me, dude? Your walk is the first thing people notice about you. Without uttering a single word, you tell a great deal about yourself. Remember, you do not get a second chance for your first impression. Have you been following the bunny cafe protests in LA? What? Let's not focus on that and let's focus on this instead, okay? The traits or commonalities we will cover will be built on one another. Along the way in the video, you will be tested to see and spot what makes these walks so damn sexy. And per your request, at the end, you will be provided an exercise in a- Bro, that is the fattest tie. What? His, like, collars are popping out of his-, his... Die are among you. The one percent, the go-getters. They will create their own unique walk using that exercise in com- There is no- Hey, this is 21 minutes of this guy wearing the most ridiculous suit I've ever seen just describing how to walk in his alpha dog man cave with RGB lights. There's just no way. Combination with the information in this video. Before we kick off the first trait, when I refer to the term alpha, I mean high status. If you want more elaboration on my view, watch the Tommy Shelby versus Billy Kimber body language breakdown. If you are watching this video, joking there is okay dude this is why i stopped watching peaky blinders okay this guy is the reason this the the energy that that like peaky blinders fans uh put into like being alpha dog peaky blinders is is so unbearably cringe that like i do not want to be associated with the fandom Oh my lord. He's the new Patrick Bateman meme. I know. Dog Killian Murphy's character is a communist. What do you mean? No, I love I love him. And I do, don't even hate like Peaky Blinders in general. But the Alpha Dog boys, they they basically they basically took uh Peaky Blinders and like turned it into their lifestyle. You know what I mean? Like these dudes can't I hate when liberals are like, oh my god, you know, we have to make sure that we have positive role models in movies because otherwise, like People will, uh, you know, learn the bad examples. Like, don't put evil characters in movies, blah, blah, blah. But, like, also, at the same time, I see stuff like this, and I'm like, maybe they're not wrong. You know what I mean? Because it does seem like a lot of people get, uh, uh, they're, they're, they don't get proper education at school, and they don't socialize properly uh, in, the, in the normal ways that people used to. And then this is how they, they just, like, try to emulate whatever they see on television and make it their whole lives peaky blinders is k-pop ariana grande standum for men yeah it's like unbearable and it's unbearably cringe yeah fight club wolf of wall street uh american psycho peaky blinders these are the shows people watch these shows and they don't consume it in the normal way that you consume shows they consume it like like it's First of all, they don't even understand the lesson that is supposed to be in these movies and shows. The lesson is usually, don't do this, okay? Like, this is bad. They only see, like, the first half of it and masturbate to, like, how sick it looks. And then forget that, like, the second half of all of those shows inevitably shows, like, this kind of behavior is unsustainable. It's, it, leads, uh, it leads you down this, uh, this, this you know, criminal timeline half time. You know what I mean? And I don't know. I don't know how uh, people just miss that point so dramatically. You mean it's case study and template for how to lead my life in capitalism? Yeah. Video roughly a year after this release. Click here for the video on what a true alpha is throughout. Okay, age. stop, stop. Shoulder smoothness. Let's look at the inverse what? of this trait first. Rigid shoulders. When you walk stiff, rigidly, not having that sexy shoulder swing, you stay in your lane. You claim little space, not trying to get noticed, not trying to rub anyone the wrong way. Yeah, look at Mark Ruffalo. Beta dude, you know what I mean? Like classic beta guy. Uh, Hulk, Hulk, on the other hand, rugged. His shoulders are so smooth. So is this guy just explaining movies and like looking at how characters walk in movies? And, and that's just, that's crazy very prey-like-minded psychology that translates into your physiology. 
your behavior. As you may know, people get stiff when they are stressed and feel threatened. The shoulder and trapezius muscles have a lot of androgen receptors. Generally speaking, men have more testosterone than women. Hence, wide shoulders are considered a masculine trait. A lot of studies have been done on this matter, and generally speaking, women prefer men with wider shoulders and men prefer women with more feminine traits. Narrow shoulders and wide hips being one of them. The shoulder to head ratio has a big effect on our perceived attraction. <laughs> this almost feels like training for baby trans men. Yeah, this guy. This guy has 1.5 million and uh, 1.3 million views on this. One million of it is just trans men. <laughs> this is like gate training for, for trans men. Activeness. There is evolutionary literature covering this. The gist is as follows. White hips signal low testosterone and fertility or ripeness. Now, why am I telling you this? Notice that men tend to swing their shoulders, highlighting their masculinity. Women swing more with their hips highlighting their femininity. Jessica Pearson is one of my favorite female characters in cinema. Elegance, style, and- Cinema. Bro, it suits, man. He said, Jessica Pearson is one of my favorite characters in cinema. Like, look, I am by no means one of these like snobby people who say, I watch film, okay? But like, if you're gonna look at like, uh, what is it, like a CW show? Isn't Suits, what channel was it on? And, and call it Kino? I don't know what to fucking tell you, okay? Jesus Christ, dude. USA Network, oh my God, even worse. <laughs> my man said, Jessica Pearson is one of my favorite characters in cinema. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. Relentless strength of character. She is a master of strategy, perseverance, and power. The way she moves, it's buttery smooth. Buttery smooth. Well, I may have my issues, but they only make me stronger. See, female hips are anatomically built different. This makes women automatically sway their hips. But if you want to appear more like a powerful, independent alpha female, add a little extra sweat. Besides the fact that this will drive men crazy, it is one of the ways of taking up more space. The Dude, it drives me crazy. Yeah, he's right. Alpha females drive me crazy. I'm always checking their gait, you know what I mean? I'm staring, I'm staring and I'm checking their gait and I'm, this is just pervert phrenology. <laughs> True. Question is, how do you do this? It's pretty simple. When you walk, don't- I like that he gives something to the ladies too though. Like he's not just one of those alpha dog boys who's only like men only, boys only here, okay? He's like, nah, I got something for the ladies too. I love alpha dog females. Let me teach you how to let me teach you how to walk. Someone in the chat said like the Westminster dog show. Exactly. Place your feet on a straight line like this, but cross them over each other like this. This gives what? you that extra silky smooth sway in your hips. You can see it here. Wait, he said ladies, become cross legged. Extra silky. Oh, what? And here. And here. Observe Jeff Malone here, the masculine alpha counterpart. He is swinging his shoulders back and forth. When you memorize all the six traits, which I'll make very easy for you, and rewatch this video, you'll be able to observe all six traits in him as well. Look at how Brad Pitt walks here, exuding confidence. And particularly look at his shoulder, swiveling left and right. This is a trait you will see in almost every alpha male, no matter where you go. And something you must incorporate in your own walk. The takeaway of this one, sway a little with your shoulders for that smooth and sexy look. Dude, I love this. This is great. There's, Another ladies, there's a lot you can learn from here. You know what I mean? This is, this is the most informative the Hassan Abbey broadcast has ever been. All you learn here is the top of the hour comes with a three-minute ad break. This guy, on the other hand, is explaining to you the most fundamental, most essential ways of becoming an alpha, uh, alpha female. Okay? Trade. Okay. This one speaks for itself. Keep your head held high. Take on life instead of submissively looking down and not taking the world in. People, among many other reasons, look down to protect their throat. Again, pray like mind body language. Exposing your throat and windpipe signals fearlessness. Walking with your head held high signals confidence and pride. But this is how I'm do always not walking. take this too far. Having your head too high and it comes over as arrogance. Friends, how do you look when you are calling on the phone? Just observe it for once. There is a high probability you talk like this. 
Pad down with hunch. Fucking lame, dude. I hate that. Ew. That guy is talking like that, and it's disgusting to me, okay? That's a beta. 100%. Stop with that right away. Friends, Stop this it. signals low status. It portrays the inverse of this trade. Low level. You hunch your shoulders, lowering your head, and thereby making yourself smaller. Here is yeah. a better way to talk on the phone. Dude, dude, what? No shot. He is not saying that. Dude, what? Oh, I love this. This is the real Kino, okay? Not the movies that he's like, not the movies that he's talking about, but instead he's just like, the, this this YouTube video is the, is the true Kino, okay? Yeah, don't talk on the cell phone like a beta cuck. Talk on the cell phone like an alpha dog. Look sexy. Let's look at it again. Open torso, arms spread apart, claiming more space, head held high. Now that, that is how an alpha holds the phone when calling. I take it you saw the press release. I did. I'm sorry that it had to be that harsh. Let's see if you can spot the two trades we discussed thus far. Please go over and make sure everything's okay. Thank you, buddy. I know it's shortcut. I'll play it once more. Yeah, play it, play it again. I didn't get it the first time. Head is held high and her hips are swaying. Try spotting it here. Uh, Play it once more. Uh, Shoulder swiveling and head held high. Got that? Let's move on to the next one. Oh, thank God. Okay, Youthful well, I did get it. Swing. What? Guys, walking with your hand like this gives a vibrant perception of you. The same walk has been adopted by many politicians and public figures who want to send out a message of their vitality. Friends, this arm swing is a must. It adds a little sexiness. As for putting hands in the pocket, you can put one hand in your pocket, but stick at least your thumbs up. Thumbs are used to display dominance, assertiveness, or sometimes an aggressive attitude. What? Dude, There, I've been missing so much my whole life. Like, I had no idea that this is how this worked. You know what I mean? I've learned so much, dude. Yo, when I show you guys my thumbs, you're like, whoa, chill, chill, okay? Calm down now. What I'm getting from this is everyone walks strange. I just don't know. I don't know why he's placing so much emphasis on your gait. Like on the way you walk. How how many interactions are you having where people are hypercritical of your of your walk? Or even if they're not, like how are they analyzing your walk at all and making assumptions about whether or not you are a beta boy? Besides that, I find it aesthetically pleasing. <coughs> Spot the trace we covered thus far. Zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds. Shoulder swaying, head held high, and youthful arm swinging. Stick over any of your partners lately? Hip swaying, head held high, and youthful arm swinging. Activated scapula. This one is also very important. The inverse of this trade is what I call the hunch turtle. Protecting your throat, by completely disappearing it and okay the funniest part about it is that like what he's talking about isn't wrong but like i don't know how it factors into like who you are as a person but like yeah if you want to correct your posture he's technically not wrong if you want to correct your posture for to, to ensure that you don't have like back pain or whatever he's right you have to activate your scaps it, uh, it's like one of the most common ways to to avoid having gamer neck is 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 to to uh, develop your scapula a little bit, right? These muscles right here, they're very important. I've talked about this a lot because like every muscle in your body has like another muscle moving it in the exact opposite direction, and if you like uh, overdevelop one side by doing gamer neck posture all the fucking time you are going to inevitably, uh, uh, you're, you're going to inevitably have a lot of injuries, but like, I don't know what the fuck this has to do with like, you know, your, what your gait has to say about you, what your walk has to say about you. Hunching yourself forward. <laughs> Nothing screams a low status walk than people who walk like that. And then you're thinking your relationship. By the way, when reading body language, notice how unconsciously people do this when experience negativity or threat, like we covered here. How do we counter this? Because, come on, you don't want to appear low status and insecure, do you? The way to counter it is through scapula activation. Here is Alfie Solomon's doing it. Push your shoulders back and then down. Look what it does. You go from here, back, down. See the before 
and after. Big difference. Another added benefit of doing this is it protrudes or sticks out your chest. Remember guys, a man's chest has to enter the room before his belly. By activating your scapula and therefore lowering your shoulders and sticking your chest up, you signal authority. I do a shitload of face pulls specifically to like, to, to like I have a big problem with that because I personally, uh, I, I am, uh, I'm double jointed, right? So that means your joints are weaker. They're more flexible, which means that whenever I'm working out, I have a, a, a big issue with like using my shoulders, overusing my shoulders because my shoulders are super mobile. So for that reason, the scaps are the bone, the muscles that move it are the traps, face pulls work traps real well, yeah. Authority and confidence. It also shows that you are a person who is used to being in charge. You're not feeling threatened. Your torso with all its vital organs are exposed and open. We often see this with athletes, police and military personnel. They claim more space by broadening their stance and shoulders. Here's a fun little fact. This is exactly the reason why business suits have padded shoulders, to make their wearers look more powerful and authoritative. Here is a lasting truth of human nature. People will conduct his backdrop in the video. Oh no. That is, oh my God. This is the dude. Uh, that's what's in the background. I'm painting some of my mentors. These are his mentors, Jordan Peterson. And then like Jessica Pearson from suits, least brain broken, uh, Dutchman. A phoenix, that's his mentor. I don't know who these guys are and I don't want to know really. Who is this guy? I don't know who any of these guys are. Ah, uh, Jordan is valid, 100%. Jordan Peterson is a valid mentor. What are you, insane? From left to right, the beloved mythical phoenix from the ashes we rise. Carl Jung, exploring the depths of my being is a work in progress. Robert Greene, his books will shape the way you perceive reality and reveal the dark nature of human trace. Oh my God, Mr. 48 Laws of Power. Ay, ay, ay. The laws of human nature, I'm rereading and studying it as much as I can. This guy keeps rereading 48 laws of power and, or, and, the, or, and the laws of human nature. Greg Plitt, may he rest in peace. Great physique mentor. A guy full of passion, discipline, and the spirit of a true champion. Aristotle. Jessica Pearson. Dr. Joe Dispenza, the neuroscientist that changed my life. Reminds me of spiritual nature combined with quantum laws. Dr. Jordan Peterson, another contemporary gift to humanity. Profound knowledge rests within him. He has studied the depths of human nature. Marcus Aurelius. Dude, seeing stuff like this genuinely makes me reconsider like stands and stan Twitter in general. Like, like being an Ariana Grande stan is 100% more mentally sane than whatever these guys are doing, okay? Being a Swifty is literally significantly more understandable than what this guy, what this guy is doing, okay? Like, I can't believe this is 1.3 million views and like people are are time stamping it and shit like that i don't even understand i just don't get like bro just just be normal I don't mindset know, just, High just be normal focus on yourself i feel like a lot of these people give you tips and strategies and by what he stopped five months ago did he die what happened to this man five months ago breeding ground of strong men Decoding Harvey Specter. Body language breakdown of Harvey Specter from Suits. He loves Suits, dude. Ultimate guide to becoming irresistibly attractive for men and women. Frightening power. Raymond Reddington, The Blacklist. Okay. Okay. This man watches way too much. This man watches too many TV shows, dude. Lemon Feo, James Spader is a scary nightmare. Frighteningly powerful. He, see, <laughs> he sees that and it... And it destroys him okay